بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم ألف لام ميم نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يدي وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after saying alif lam mim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Nazzala alayka al-kitabi bil-haqqi musaddiqan lima bayna yaday wa anzala tawrat wa l-anjil That Allah revealed He was addressing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He revealed the book with the truth The Qur'an Nazzala alayka al كتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يدي وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل. and Allah سبحانه وتعالى gave gave the Quran to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the kalam of Allah the speech of Allah and it is a verification of what was revealed. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Torah wal Injil. The Torah, or as we pronounce in English, Torah, and the Injil, meaning the Bible, the Gospel of Jesus, alayhi salatu wa salam. Allah revealed all of these divine books, and they're all a part of the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The original Torah and the original Injil. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed for those books to become corrupted but the Quran no it's protected and the Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have many uh, verses in the Quran which show us that the Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that those other books are the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they were in their pristine form but they've been distorted and that the nations from before us they distorted the, the book of Allah the speech of Allah they changed it they tried to change it with their hands and distorted what was contained in it and changed the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to suit their desires and this is incredibly important for us to not repeat that to not fall into what the children of Israel they did they distorted and disobeyed Allah and disobeyed His commandments we don't want to do the same with the Quran the Quran is protected so we cannot but unfortunately there are many people who try there are non-Muslims and there are in fact Muslims who try to use it to suit their desires to affirm their bid'ah to affirm their religious heresy to affirm their uh, religious innovation to, ref- to affirm their uh, disbelief or to just to plain and simple to substantiate and authenticate their desires, their vain desires. So as Muslims, we have to worship Allah alone in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet And we should not seek to re-interpret, uh, redefine the parameters and 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 bounds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set for us and the limits it's already prescribed and it's prescribed in kitab illa wa sunnatu rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf al and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam